You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Uh, breathe slow. We're going to see sip tea. Are we going to light it up? See you soon. Uh, yes, indeed. That was Rookie. Rookie. With breathe slow. You hear the water in the background? Yeah. Rookie Ventura trying to take Harvard, us. Yeah, he's Harvard. trying to take us to the ocean. How I relaxing. see what you're doing, Rookie. How relaxing. So, Missy, I'm going to let you go first on Rookie. Oh. Breathe slow. Oh, well, you're going to be. You you will be surprised. Uh, um, I am? I think so. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm lighting it up for this song. We're live. Start talking. I'm lighting it up for this song. All right. Okay. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, it was relaxing. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, it was. It was nice. Okay. It was nice to have background music. It was nice to have background music. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. This is. Um, I'll definitely say this is one of those songs I would play making like dinner. It's it's good like like cooking dinner vibe dinner party music excellent it's like dinner party it, it's it's got that cool vibe not a club vibe no can't not, bang it in the club no, definitely not, not a club vibe. Nah, no. you can't you can't do that in the club <laughs> you can't no nope. <laughs> no no hi hat look, look unless you're going to like a jazz club or something they're having like an <laughs> intermission or something huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but you lighten it up though. I'm lighting it up. Lighten lighten up. up. Yeah, I would like to rookie. see it at like a jazz club if Look, it was like a, a spot like that. That'd be nice. Rookie Breeze Slow fe- featuring uh, Melty Cannon. Or even to see hmm. live. That sounds Oh, like, that'd be cool. That live. would be cool live. Yeah, yes. that'd be cool yeah. live. Rookie. Uh, I'm lighting it up as well. I'm lighting it up. That means that we're putting it into rotation. That's right. Now, is this, is this a Rhythm of the Coast vibe? Okay, or. It is okay. That's good. the reason I'm asking is because you do you think people listening to this is like, oh, this is real cool, this is mellow, I like this, or would they be like, get it out? Oh no, I think people no, would enjoy people, it. People people would gravitate toward it. Okay, good sure. because Definitely. that's what I want. Um, uh, rookie, he does a lot of self produ- production. Oh wow, uh, he makes his own beats. Very talented producer. You um, could tell. Yeah, you could tell he really cares about the instruments in there, and he yeah. has like album just full. Of, it's just an instrumental album. Is what he has. Yeah, I could. T- uh, you could tell he probably has like a bunch of beats, and he's just going and picking them. Just going and picking them. Yeah. So I really like the production in here. Yeah. And we have two independent artists that is really based off of just their music and production because it's leading up to our vault, right? Right. And I purposely chose these artists because they're something like our vault review that oh, we're nice. going to get into. Nice. Are we going to get into Can't that wait. in the next yeah two minutes at the top of the hour? Uh, but do we have a trending topic or do you want to just get into another music review? We can do a trending topic. Go, sure. Go ahead, Missy. Okay. Did you, did you guys hear um, Rick Ross just got his driver's license at 45 years old? Shout out to Rick Ross. And, um, Is this true? Yeah. And, and, and I know his little son had his birthday over the week, too. Oh, that's what's oh, funny. He, he bought him the, uh, the bottom of the store. Yeah. The, uh, the Wingstop. Yeah. And then, oh and then he was eating the Wingstop by his new car that he got him, too. How old did the son turn? 16. 16. He bought him a Wingstop store? <laughs> he did. bought him a crazy. Wingstop. He did. He, did. he did. got him his own Wingstop. He's his own uh, entrepreneur out there doing his thing. Well, like, this, this is the photo of the son right yeah, here. There you that's go. So cute. Happy 16. He's eating the wings and, you know. So my thing is, he's just had someone val- just like no. take him around everywhere, no, no, chauffeur. No. He would drive. He would drive, and he said that he driving would driving dirty. He would just charm his <clears throat> way out of tickets. He would just charm himself. He with so, this. He goes, yeah, I got a good smile. I would just, you know, say be so nice nah, to them. You know, you know what Rick did. Rick probably was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, he probably did. And then he's all, you know. It's me, Rose. <laughs> it's me, Rose. Oh man, Rose, Rose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to ring some? <laughs> yeah. He has uh, over a hundred cars. All right, go ahead. He has over a hundred cars. He does. This man has over a hundred cars. Come on, let's talk about that. Now, why, why, why hundred? Why one? And for some of you that do not know, he bought Evander Holyfield's old house in Atlanta, Georgia. And whenever I go down to Atlanta, you talk about driving by something and you getting inspired. I just drive by that and I don't want to see nothing else. I'm like, you know what? I need to get so to you. It. So you don't get inspired by the houses and because you get depressed. Oh man, no! I get inspired. It's like man, it's time. It's go time. Like yeah, you, if you yeah. see Rick Ross's house, there you go. It's it's one of those houses that like it sits back there, and then like everybody else's house, just, you're like, y- y'all need to get to work. Like that's yeah. where they film coming to America. That's, yeah, that's, that's where they film coming, coming to America, America too. Did you see coming to America too? I did. Honestly, was it good or bad? 
it for me it was okay i mean it was mm. it's hard it's going up against a classic uh, i yes, mean yes a movie that so many people know every single i mean we could even audition for like the the movie because we know all the parts probably but i mean i had to look <laughs> at it we, we could I mean, I want to see a reenactment later. Then you know, we okay. Uh, I mean, let's see. what scene are we gonna do? Sex with Chuck. Sex with Chuck. Sex with Chuck. Sex with Chuck. Dad, what's the song he was singing? What's that song he Seize was singing? your queen. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh We're man! Having so much fun in Frank the, studio, the Francois ladies and is in the building. <laughs> We're having so much fun. So, so I mean, I look at it as. With that movie, I had to kind of look at it as a separate movie. I couldn't look at it as like a sequel or because it was just like, how, you, how do you redo something? How do you the capture reviews, that yeah. same movie again? They turned me down off. I, I, I seen the reviews and I was like, I'm not going to watch it because I didn't like the reviews. I had to watch it because I'm such a fan. I of, don't want to ruin it. Like, why? Would, it's certain movies I don't think you should redo. It It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, but being being a fan of it, I just had to do it. That's like if they came out with the Last Dragon. I don't know if you guys seen, seen the, the Last, Last Dragon. Dragon. Yes. If they came out with the Last Dragon too, I'm such a big fan of it. I would have to see the second one, even though I'm like, man, um, Show Enough died. How you how you gonna do it with Show Enough? <laughs> Show Enough died, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Oh man, you crazy, man. You crazy. So, uh, <laughs> uh, it, yeah, so we're gonna get into uh, a music. We're gonna get to a music review. Then we're gonna get into our vault review. Looking That's right. Forward yes. to that. Um, and we will be back soon.